Well, we're all hitched up. I'm going to help some friends of ours to uh, pick up a Ford Coupe that they bought. Uh, I'm going to bring it back here and we're going to do a little bit of work to it to get her going for uh, cruising this summer. So, be my first hauling job with the, uh, the general here. There she is. We did, uh, well, I got it home. We pulled it in the shop. Uh, we kind of, we got it running. Still needs a little bit of, a little bit of TLC, but uh, it runs really nice. We had to revamp the fuel system. Well, I had to fix a line and just kind of clean out the line. The fuel steam's good. It's a little old, but the car hasn't driven in a couple years. But starts, runs, drives, uh, kind of went through the carb. Needs an accelerator pump, but we got her going anyways. But the, that's a super, super clean car. Well, other than that dent, right? <laughs> the rest of her is really nice. Do the old walk around. Check her out. They don't find them very clean like this out here. The interior is going to need a little bit of loving, but it's still pretty good. You know, seats need the typical upholstery. But I'd call it a survivor. I haven't screwed with it. <laughs> and neither would I, because it's a really nice car. So yeah. Flathead powered. But, so it runs. It sort of drives. The, uh, all of the brakes are kind of stuck. So, got to go through it, see what the car all needs. Uh, like I say, just helping the folks out, kind of get her going for them. Uh, so I know the brakes are semi stuck, like the wheels are really hard to turn. So it's probably the wheel cylinders are popped. I'll have to probably go through the master cylinder, all the wheel cylinders, check all the brake lines, make sure they're all good. Fix, adjust the e-brakes. Um, uh, I know the exhaust has a hole in it, so we're going to have to replace the muffler. The rest of the exhaust looks good, just the muffler's kind of shot. And just stuff like that, kind of get it all ready for inspection kind of thing. So that is the plan. So first we're just going to have to 
get this thing on the hoist properly and lift her up and then we can uh, pull the wheels and tires and see what she looks like underneath. Well, I am just pickling up all these fittings. So I'm going to try to get this master out. Well, I'm going to take it out. I need to replace everything. But, yeah, and you can see the muffler. There's some weird, weird fixes. But that's not really the problem. That's kind of the problem. <laughs> so anyways, we got to change the muffler. The rest of the car, though, is like super solid. Apparently the story was, back in the 70s, this thing... Uh, this feller had it undercoated, and it's like still doing pretty cherry, eh? 
wild. So I guess some dealer had this car and had just been running up with his dealer plate all of us for years and years. So, and then the past couple years, he hasn't been driving it and I guess they put it up for sale and sold it. So I got all the brakes off and uh, they're pretty much all junk. <laughs> You know, because the bits have fallen off and they're on the floor. So they're a bit of a struggle to get off. The back ones weren't too bad. I know that's not the proper puller to use, but that's all I got. So, which clamps onto the lug nuts and away you go. I think the, the proper one for the drum is it actually hooks onto the spindle here and it does a similar spiel. But this side, the pads didn't come off, but I guess I'm just gonna replace them all just cause. Uh, I'm gonna try popping all the wheel cylinders apart make sure see if I can clean them Fix them up if we can that's a huge win if not then I know we'll have to order uh, Like these ones are all there, but I don't know. No, they're not. They're all separating So we're just gonna order all new brakes for it and then uh, Again check all the wheel cylinders the lines everything seem nice, so We do need a tie rod on this side But overall She's in really super solid shape. Like everything's been greased up nice and well taken care of. So anyway, I'm gonna continue trying to tear stuff apart and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. bunch has happened we've cleaned and just I don't know I guess did a, a rebuild I guess you could say I don't know I cleaned it we'll leave it at that because it looked good it was still full of fluid um, it was probably just stuck because all the wheel cylinders were stuck on the car but anyways I took it apart cleaned it uh, see if my light works here doesn't look like it So I've taken all of these ones apart. They look good. They just gotta get clean. So I think it's just from sitting. Uh, we're gonna need all new pads because those are not very good. <laughs> and uh, we need an outer tie rod. Everything else looks pretty good. So I'm gonna order up some brake shoes. Uh, and I'm gonna proceed to clean all of these wheel cylinders. I did the one in the front and the master and I think I'm just gonna do the rest tomorrow. I don't feel like doing much more right now. Um, but, I don't know. It all looks good, so there's no point buying stuff when uh, everything's fine, just needs to be cleaned up. So I'm not too worried about it. So anyways, till tomorrow, we'll finish all those up. I'll see if I have any brakes in the shed. I don't think I'm gonna have a full set though. But anyways, till tomorrow.
What tends to happen with old brakes is it gets this film or this scuzz on it, and uh, that's what causes your brakes to stick inside the cylinders there, at least on the old, old cars. Uh, sometimes they corrode into there, and then that's when you can't really clean them and you just have to junk them, but for the most part, the old stuff you can clean up and reuse. No reason why not. It's what they used to do. I'm just cleaning all the spots off of it. Making her like clean like new. Clean everything up with some brake clean. And uh, move on. Once it's all off, it's pretty much like new. Uh, the only thing you have to watch is the cups. I know I've shown this before. I think on another car I was doing. But uh, you can pretty much visually see if these things are going to be junk or not. Provided your wheel cylinders aren't pitted inside or screwed. But if you look at the cups. As long as you don't see any tears or anything around the outer edge, like these things look like they're almost brand new. So, yeah, clean everything back up, hone out the call, uh, the wheel cylinders. She's like new, good to go. I'm gonna finish cleaning all these up and uh, hone out that cylinder, and we're good to go. So I got all the uh, brakes pulled off. Um, it's pretty straightforward. They were all junk. I uh, still got to do the front, but I don't have any brake pads. <clears throat> I had a bunch in the shed, but I only have one set that are this, I think it's 42 to something style, because uh, they have this oblong on the bottom. I have another couple sets, but they're for the older stuff, where it just had that round slot. So. So I'm going to basically just do the back brakes for now. That way I can adjust the e-brakes and stuff like that. I'm going to wait for the new stuff to come in and then I can finish up the front and uh, we'll go from there. But for now, what I got to basically do, these are the two I got. So we got this and this because your smaller shoe should go to the back. So this one here is just mirroring what we got. So I got to pull off the e-brake hardware Put them on and then that way i can smash those suckers together and at least the back part of the car is done for now uh the master i redid that last night it's good i have one broken line that didn't cooperate so i have to make one new line and then i can at least put some fluid in as soon as i get the front shoes and then we should have brakes so anyways let me swap the hardware over and uh get it on the car
So we got my brakes all adjusted. Oh, I must be in gear, but brakes are adjusted. The back is done. I got to just adjust this e-brake and uh, wait for the front hardware to come in. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the master cylinder in and fix that one brake line. I'm going to throw my, these are all the old brakes, to which they're really not good for anything, but you can get them relined. So I'm just going to hang them in the shed for now. At some point, maybe I'll scrap them. I'm worried one day that these parts are not going to be available and this is what a feller is going to have to do. So I figure I'll just keep them around. You never know until it takes up too much room. Then I'll uh, switch that out. Hey, dog. He doesn't care. This guy, you always care, right? All right. Well, let's throw this stuff back in the shed and uh, get back to the car here. So the back wheels, that's all done. These wheels are kind of junk, so they're not gonna, they're gonna roll it right now. I just threw the front hubs on just so I can roll the car around right now. I, uh, I still have to visit that muffler. I'm gonna go dig around in the shed, see if I have anything that size. But I gotta go over the electrical, so I figure I'll put it down, then I can roll it back, kind of see what's going on. I kind of noticed the headlights weren't working, so I don't know if the switch is bad, or if this thing's fused somewhere. Uh, headlights aren't usually fused, I find, but so yeah, that's what you see me doing there. I just basically threw stuff together. So the front's got absolutely nothing in there. Uh, I also got to rummage around, see if I have a tie rod end. And uh, yeah, I can start working on some lights. First, I'll see if I have a muffler. Maybe I can change that out quick or at least measure it, see if I got the right one. And uh, I can do that later. Well, I guess this is where I'm going to leave this one. I have to run to town, get some parts. I've ordered a bunch of stuff from Rock Auto. I'm waiting for that to come in. So, until then, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.